Hey guys, welcome back to more Walking Dead, Dead City. Uh, we are at the point where they're either going to come across more people to be able to help them here, or what we've got is what we've got. We've already picked up this group who kind of just bumped into them. The grandma thing was sad, but everybody loses people in every community. Um, I, I, want, I want some more more background really on this guy that Negan pretty much took under his wing back in the day and found out he's an absolute psycho uh, or we could just end up just meeting up with him I don't know there's, there's, there's a lot of unanswered questions so let's go and carry on watch episode 3 I knew this girl wouldn't stay poor for long she's just been in the bar with him <laughs> Scratch that. You gotta talk. <laughs> you need help? How am I supposed to know if you ain't yelling for it? And you have been sticking to me like goddamn crazy glue. I turn my back for a half a second, and that's when you decide to skedaddle? That's why he tried to kill us last night. Guess we ain't the only ones he pissed off. You lost your dino. God damn it. Dropped it, huh? We will just re goddamn trace our goddamn footsteps. <laughs> okay. Uh, take it back. I assume so, because that had to be before. What is it, death? <laughs> These things are so timid. Might as well be a map of the moon or Yonkers. Most of these streets are no go. Jim's wall to wall with plushies. I mean, it spreads so fast through the subways, the buildings, bodies coming up from the ground, falling from the sky. Wow. When they finally got here, they were just dead. They were dumb me. enough to think that they'd come to save us. Uh -uh, you're an island. Leaving us in this death trap. We were getting it together. We all little by little. aware as to who. Did so he that. showed up, asking people to join him. We don't take no orders from no bridge and tunnel nutcase. So now he tries to kill us, steal from us, catch and torture us so he can learn how to kill and steal some more. Is this sounding familiar? Only one of us ever got out alive. You, you're not instilling her with much confidence here with the guy that has her son. Damn. Come on, it would just at least be cool to see a city in that kind of state and disarray just once. Right. Holy crap, that's a lot. I want to get to the pro art. I just got to get through that. Uh, <laughs> that's inventive. So we're so Hell no. Army shoved in all the fleshies they killed till they got turned into fleshies too. Seal it up nice and tight. If someone broke out of Alcatraz... Then there's a way back in. Yeah. Who escaped? Who are we talking about here? Tommaso. Just tell us how you got out. What's her name? We could show them. No. The decision's already been made. It was a risk when we voted it down the first time. And now there's even less of us, and I... I don't know if I can... I mean... 12, 15 years ago, there was a... a fella down south. Showed up out of nowhere, a lot like this guy. So we built a badass fortress, formed an army out of psychopaths, and he forced people to join. Now, soon enough, the people, they got fed up with it. So they got together, and they decided it was time to take that hammer back. So what happened? It worked. Mm. Hell yeah, it worked. You're looking at it. And that ain't the story. That's fact. We'll talk to the others. This guy's ruining the exact Welcome. same way. He learned from the best. Sometimes the door would open and he'd offer me food or medicine. But I knew the second I talked, I'd be axed. So, you know, the door kept opening. 
My Nono used to talk about working on the crew that rebuilt Penn Station. People assumed the old station was gone. But Gramps. He knew the spots where they left the framework kind of behind the walls. I ran as fast as I could, followed the framework, found the tunnels. After your disappearing act, you would have moved folks off site. How do you know? Because it's what I would do. It's what he would have done. Mm -hmm. There. They go back. Way Get back. Get the hint of the story. He knows how he thinks. Yeah. So they buddies did. Were. Took a shot at him and blew his ear off. And we get him to tell me where my son is. And we kill him. Beto. You don't think he's gonna want payback? Eye for an eye. And for what? For my son. So that I can get my son. Your son is already dead. Dude. I think you know that. All right, Dude. you know what? A long time. Time out. Time out. Five. Under normal circumstances, I would say yes. However, he is obviously blatantly aware. I would think, as to, although is he, we don't know as to who Maggie actually is, whether he knows, he will know the connection between our old crew and Negan too, won't he? So he's worth far more alive than dead, is what I'm saying. Not bad for a jail, no? <laughs> awesome. Nicer than yours, I imagine. Lights, you must be hungry. It isn't magic, I promise. Alternative energy. So naturally, when I first arrived here, I couldn't help asking myself, what is the most abundant natural resource? Death. The sewers are full of it. The gas can be pressurized into a liquid fuel at regular wow. temperature. Holy shit. What we have built here... Scientist. ...is a sanctuary. <laughs> really? You understand? I can't offer you refuge until you no longer pose a threat. Oh, my God. You inspected the meat. What oh. the meat? Why would you serve me? Rotten meat. Actually, it was... Uh, uh. He's gonna end up dead, eh? <laughs> ah. I'm looking for any little Easter eggs in this. Like simple, like that. I found this in the back of one of those tourist shops. I remember, uh, remember Herschel used to wear one sort of like it. He's wrong, Luther, he is wrong. Your plan is gonna work if you wanna talk about it or whatever. I... When the Croat showed up at our gates, I told Herschel, to get in the root cellar. He told me to get off his damn back for once. <laughs> and that is the last thing that we said to each other. That's the part of being a parent. And I screwed up so many ways before then. Yeah, but kids do it too. Fumbling through doing it by yourself. And whatever's left of all of them is inside this box. And I'm... A few years, years ago... Using the vice here. Joshua, Annie, and I, we were living in this little cabin outside of New Babylon. When she wasn't home at nightfall, I, uh... I knew something had gone wrong. She had been, she'd been robbed, beaten. Yeah. She begged me not to do something stupid. The hell you know me. Oh yeah. I found them. Yeah. All five of them. Honestly, I don't think I even wanted to kill them. So I put them on a wagon train to Missouri and I said I'd be right behind them. I think about them every single day. I hope to God they are Okay, and maybe I have no right in hoping that. I mean, what else do we have? It's such... It's so nice... I to... knew how to shut up. <laughs> it's so nice to see a show that can grow a character to this level from where we met them. Oh, man, I don't fancy this girl's odds here. We Look. can't keep doing this. 
been looking for this freaking dinosaur all day. I know it is. And you have to speak. You know, I call out for you, then you you call back. No, Jenny, you don't get to say no. All right, maybe back in the day, but that is not the case anymore. So you got to skip all the coping shit and get straight to the staying alive shit. <laughs> you hear me? I. <laughs> it's tough because how far do you push a kid that, that much, you know? The coping mechanism is what we're seeing here. And I understand what Negan's trying to say, and he's trying to just toughen her up and make her realise that all that bad shit is part of the bad shit world that we live in, and you either you will either learn to roll with it and take whatever it gives you, or you roll down and die. But it's harsh. Hey. Roll over and die. Why did I know what the problem is? Roll. Problem is, we don't have any leads. Oh, and she's not a little girl anymore either. Gonna pick that up. Ah. Not quite sure why they would take that as, as scavenging, but maybe for a kid. We celebrate our fallen brother. Not more. Oh, crap. No. I didn't realize who was in there. <laughs> because people. Are a resource. Now I wonder where he's heard that before. I'm assuming they all place something on the table that's of importance to them here. Is that what this is about? Some type of prayer that they've decided to adopt. That's chance, my friend. This is creepy. Hey. Resourceful. I was a test. That was a test. Here we go, right? I gotta say, I'm shitting more bricks than what's left in the city right now. Amaya, she says having a kid in the city wouldn't be safe. Yeah, she's probably right, you know? But you have to make it safe somehow. Tommaso! Look who's here. Oh, she shit. does not. Wait till Megan sees this. Where'd you get that? Uh. Street? I know a little girl who likes stuff like that, that's all. Mm. Today? You could say today. Take it. I have been trying so damn hard, but it's too much for me. Please help me. Please come find me. It's just me. No one else. I had two partners, but they're dead. Who is worth following here? Ta -da. I know you're not the president of my fan club. I get it. But all you need to know is that we are on the same side and this plan is going to work. The two of you are leaving here tonight. So this isn't you right here? Can't really deny that. So if you have any information on this man, notify any office of the new Babylon Marshals. Anti-social, prone to extreme violence, above <laughs> average intelligence and charisma. Do not trust him. That I have people depending on me, Luther. So respectfully? No. I ain't going anywhere. All right, here's the deal. I am, uh, I'm gonna try this one more time. All right, Luther. Ian's land. This guy hasn't yet. Okay. Pushing his bones. <laughs> oh, great! It's her face. Shit. Damn. He did. 
didn't want it to come to this. No. <laughs> Shit. There is still that Negan inside him when it's required, when he needs to switch it on, as I mentioned before. Oh, Maggie, what are you doing? She's right there. Oh, she's not going to let you. you didn't she's to not going to let you. Before we left this morning, did you? Maybe you didn't drop it at all. Maybe that asswipe stole them before you even had a chance to drop them. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold up. Very gentle. Go around. And... Here you go, ma'am. All right. Here's the thing, Jenny. I want you to listen, okay? Talk is cheap anyway, kid. Believe me, yeah. I ought to know. It doesn't matter what people say. Oh, yeah, he talks enough shit to know. But the land in the grave so long this world. I know it's what you need, Maggie, but don't. Okay, interesting third episode, but where does that leave us? Now he's just killed that big guy. And the girl is stood there watching with the dinosaur and I know why Maggie's wanting to do what she's about to do because she needs Negan's complete focus. And he spots that he won't have it because that in itself showing in this episode the importance of it to her and that that's giving you a... That's giving you a part of a story that you're not aware of that she has done what she's done, that she took off. So, I don't know. Um, this other lad, I don't know his name, the guy in the white vest who gave us all that story, you know, he look, he kind of looks kind of like a badass, but he, he said himself he's absolutely crapping going ahead with this. I mean, what this is only six episodes. Again, this, this opening... Um, season i know the other show was finishing it off the six episodes this has already got a, a season two coming but i feel like we we need to step it up a little bit now and get on with it i don't know maybe maybe we will in the next episode we've gotten a lot more insight into our uh protagonist here who has learned an awful lot between being if everything, if we were to believe everything that he's, he's told us, that he's gone from being in the old world, being a scientist, to the way in which he lost his family, you know, we are getting some background on him. And then meeting up with Negan, we know all the story. From there onwards, in Negan's filled us in with that. But the, sedi the sedictive... Why well, can't I say that word tonight? <laughs> the sadistic nature of him. Um, and the fact that he can use is way more than average in intelligence to have done what he's done in his community. I mean, that whole thing with the gas and everything. Who, who else would know? Who else would be able to work that out and think that way? He has his Negan Mark too. He, he, you've, mold, you've helped mould him into who he is and ta taught him the importance of <laughs> the importance of a community but the importance of people as a resource i like how they put that in how it's been twisted round and manipulated into a completely different context um as to regards how negan saw things negan didn't really see people that way not so much with this guy and the whole, oh, your son's already dead. That was pretty brutal. Um, Maggie's tough. We know that. Where it's going to lead, don't know. Right, we'll be back. Let me so four next week. Till then, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give a thumbs up while you're down there. Buy my post or your comments. And I will see you in the next episode in a week's time. Link in the description is there if you want to watch them in full length on Patreon. That's the quick plug from me, and I will see you for the next one. Take care.